Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. The career mode goodness continues in today's video. It's going to be episode 7 of my Aston Villa career mode series. Guys, by the time you are seeing this, the Premier League has gone underway. I'm recording this at Friday at 4.30pm, so it is yet to begin for me. And I am damn nervous for the Arsenal boys against Brentford tonight. I've seen a lot of information about Obama Yang and Lacazette not being able to play. But fingers crossed by the time you're hearing me say these words, Arsenal have pulled off a madness. Saka, Pepe, the link up of dreams. And we got a cheeky three points. But if you have not seen the previous episode of my Aston Villa career mode, make sure to go back and check it out because it was mental. We scored some absolutely ridiculous goals, insane comebacks. As you can see by the top scorers, Danny Ings has been on five form as well. And guys, if you are enjoying this Aston Villa career mode series, make sure to go down in the comment section, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know you are enjoying it and I'll continue to smash these out when I can. But in today's episode. Nothing but W's across the board. I need plenty of free points. I want progression. This is the team currently as it stands. Our main 11. Ings, Watkins, Bailey. That scorpion kick in the last episode, mate. Honestly, what even was it? We've got McGinn, Douglas Louise, Buendia, Target, Mings, Concert, Cash, and Martinez is up to an 84 now. Absolutely killing it. In regards to the rotation, I'm loving this team. We've got depth and we've got strength across the whole team. Timmy Weyer is a goal machine from the bench. We've got Barkley, who is on loan for this season. I'm not really going to invest too much into him. We have definitely a look to replace and bring in a backup cam in January. Samson, Traore, Tanganga, Twanzebe, the cup will be Van der Voort. Then we even have some decent rotational options down here like Sloppy Soppy and Jacob Ramsey. And one thing not to forget, we have already signed three players coming to the Mighty Villa in January. We've got Yari Vasharan here, the young Belgian boy from Anderlecht. We've got Cheek Decore, a box-to-box centre mid CDM centre-back bruiser. And then the absolute tricky winger himself, Jeremy Doku. I am so excited for this boy to play in a Villa shirt. We do still have 18.5 million to invest into this team, guys. So if any players come to mind, make sure to get down in the comment section and let me know who you think I should bring in. But without further ado, let's do this. Southampton at home. Three points, please, boys. Any of you guys taking part in FPL this season, guys, I think I'm trying to invest a bit more time into it myself. I'm in about 10, 15 little small leagues across Twitter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, um... No yeah, I probably should stop waffling, shouldn't I? I should focus up. We're 1-0 down, boys. Che Adams gets the goal. It looks like it's a continuation from last few episodes. I like conceding early. And that's another clean sheet out the window. I need to get seven throughout the oh, season. Che Adams now. already is putting into this really one. The... Oh, Douglas Deweez. Lovely stuff. Car attack action, boys. Come Watkins. on, keep the give and goes going. Little one, Watkins. Little Kings. one inside. There we go. Ollie. Yes. Don't know what the Southampton keeper is doing. I've got my foot champ sprayed on. Take it round the goalie, little ball roll, heel to heels. You know the drill by now, guys. And uh, I think it's Alex McCarthy in goal for Southampton is absolutely clueless. What is Matt Target doing on the right wing? How is he, how is he wandering his way over there? But take it. Big interception from the boy. Still involved. Look at him. He's hungry to get on the ball. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff, Taylor. What we got? Could take the lead. Ward Prowse. Wait, hold up. Is that Ward Prowse? Given. Did Ward Prowse just play that pass? <laughs> if so, I don't know about signing that man in for 30 million. I'm not going to lie, boys. We're about to rethink our uh, transfer strategy going into January. In. Anyone else insanely excited to see Aston Villa's new team this season? It was, it's such like, a breath of fresh air in the Premier League. Danny Ings, Bailey, Wendia, and a lot of them linking oh, up. And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity that like from close range. Oh, that's a mad pass. What? Say Adams is in. Eddie! What a ball for Southampton. I don't know who number 14 is. Is it Obafemi by a chance? I have absolutely no clue. It is Obafemi. Pretty certain he's a good 50 60 ever all this well, lad. And he's absolutely peached it on a play so for Che Adams. He gets his second of the game. And we're down with behind the again. And giving it away. 
That's a great ball. And space here on Watkins the flank. is in space. Watkins is in back. space. Great and pick out from Bailey. Just and there we go. Oli Watkins, the he gets the starts in the league. And he is not letting me down. Jab back to the dangerous the ball, just patient. being a bit too confident for my liking. Douglas the Wings again, clean up crew and carry attack style. Let's do this, Danny. Come on. Defender is not Ings. happy with him. He's running back. Need to cover. Oh, I like that little back heel. John McGinn. Must take the lead inside. Here. John McGinn. Oh, Johnny McGinn gets his first goal for us. I don't think this man has scored yet. If he has, I apologise. But he's one of my faves. He's not going anywhere in this team. Purely for the fact that he put off moments of magic like this. Once again, no keeper getting anywhere near that. He almost kind of like floats it top bins. Cheeky little finesse. Beauty. So I feel like we've got to watch out for that ball. Looks he's going to it up nicely. Of a Femi get in the bin. Brilliant piece oh, of no, skill. I should have fouled for that. This could square the game. Oh dear. I looked at my phone for two seconds. It is that man. It's the man no, that we're linked with. James Ward Prowse gets the goal. I'm blaming my girlfriend for texting me in a vital moment. Most silly Ward business Prowse. here, boys. James Ward Prowse, go away. Thank you. Tackling Brilliant challenge. Come on now, boys. We move. We move. We love a quick counter attack. Savannah's defence is not about it. They step off like nothing. Hold up. Watkins through the middle. Oh, Ollie Watkins is a big touch. Oh, oh but the finish is sublime. The Hattie for Ollie Watkins in the first game of the episode. I thought McCarthy was going to come out a little bit quicker, so I thought the dink was the only way. Not like this, Obafemi. Get your jab backs out of here. That's got the game. No, no way. This could be the equaliser. Oh, that tackle from Konza. Unreal. Unreal bit of play from the boy. And our boy, William Steele himself, is back with another scout report. Come on now, big man. Let's see if you've got an absolute gem in the ranks. Your five-star, five-star. Charles Holt. What are we saying? I'm not... A... We don't want no D-Tech, all right? We want the top creme de la creme of football scouts. And I feel like you're not living up to the hype right now, Will Steele. So a two-day break between games, we have got West Brom away from home. I'm going to mix it up, I think. We're going to mix it up quite a bit, actually. Transavi's coming in. We're going to give Van der Voort a run out as well. So quite a rotated side. Sanson, Traore, Tanganga, Twanzebi, Van der Voort, Weyer all come into the team. So we're mixing up, trying to keep the legs fresh as we only have a couple of day wait into our next game as well. But West Brom are fully fit. They've got Maitland-Niles and CDM. I respect it. Big man. Branislav Ivanovic at centre-back with Bartley. Those boys are getting on. And then Gallagher. Gallagher's the young uh, Chelsea lad, I believe. I don't know where he's gone on loan this season in the real world, but he's apparently pretty decent. But let's see. Back-to-back -back three points. That's what we're after. Let's see if Sam Allardyce is going to stop us. Would love Holy a little three point. A little, like, little goal fest in this one, maybe. Way up. Some magical moments. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 We're doing it to him. We're doing it to him. Morgan Sanson. It's pink season. I've scored a lot of chips so far in this series. I just, I think tapping it in the net is a little bit easy in that situation. I was put a uh, sprinkle a little well, bit of Tommy Ketch with a bit of sauce on top of that one. To Did he weigh it into Watkins, he into Sanson? I like it, Sam Allardyce, mate. Smash it in the box, Let's baby. The oh! Sanson, what was that? What, what was well, that? That was a definitely game, shot on the rebound. Now, and he's just still headed it back across game. goal. Oh, this nice looks promising. Play. Here we go. West Bomber coming into Maybe it. Maitland Niles, Niles of all people. Oh, it might be. No shortage of excitement. Level again. We should be no tuned up. I don't know what has happened. Watkins hit the bar. Sanson on the follow up has fluffed his lines. But just like that, Maitland Niles playing CDM for the mighty West Brom has scored a decent goal. So at half time, guys, we're going to keep it exactly the same. One all. We do have legs on the bench. I did be cheeky. And as the I put Jacob Ramsey commences. on the bench as well. I kind of want to give the man his first Premier League appearance in this one. So Obviously, depending on how well the game's going. Oh, first and try rolling. Beautifully picked out. First time oh, in. Oh, Can my days. Oh, what my was that ball? Ollie Watkins has bagged it. No surprise there. The man is scoring for fun at the moment. But the give and go. Timmy Weyer picks it out to Bertrand Chayore. 
and this man plays well, the most delicious floated ball first time into Watkins Park and, and then Karate Kid's there again goal. and we make it 2-1 one. One, one more time one more time for the finish beautiful stuff Ollie lovely yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should First try or eight is coming into it now. The man is finding the space in behind. Ollie Watkins again in the middle. It's almost a carbon copy. Almost a carbon copy on the finish. And he's scoring for fun. Who is this man? In the previous episodes, this man could not hit a barn door. Well, make sure you join oh, us for more space. Premier League action coming your Leon way. Leon Bailey has been kicked out of street from Ollie Palace. Watkins. The touch is decent here. off his noggin. Back into Ollie. Is that bad to bat hat tricks for the man? The past two episodes we have been finding our form and we've been bagging goals for fun. I don't know what happened with the finish, but we're taking it. So 4 1 up, guys. We're getting a bit funky with it. We're bringing on the young lad himself, Jacob Ramsey, making his Premier League debut. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Nice little ball. Oh, he's still going. Jacob Ramsey! Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes. I can't believe he's missed. It was almost gloves. destined to be. Oh, that's a great ball. They might be in here. If they play in Diania, that is going to be a goal. And a head of goal it is. What? Oh, I was right not expecting that. Oh, that's nice. we got Ollie Watkins in so much space in the middle. Decent crawl in here. And there it is. There we go. That That's game win. over. At the end of the day, the counter attack's too strong. Big man Ollie Watkins. That's his four for the game. We started the episode well. Two back to back wins. Once again, more domination. We don't have the possession, but the counter attacks are just too overpowered. With the two right, well, the right mid and the left mid, and two down the middle. It's so hard for my opponent to defend again. And another two day rest in between game number three of the episode. We need to bring in the lads. The fresh legs. Jacob Ramsey unlucky to get the goal at the end of it. Cons are back in for Twan Zabi, Matty Cash, a bit of Emmy, Traore, and then let's not forget Douglas Louise. Before we hop into the final game, I wanted to take a quick look at the goals and assists from the boys this season. And oh my lord, Danny Ings has 17 goals and 14 assists in 17 matches. Absolutely unreal stats from the man. Ollie Watkins getting up there now with 13 goals. He scored seven in his last two. Timmy Weyer for a breakout season is smashing it. And then we are spreading them out as well. Bailey involved, Wendia involved, John McGinn getting on the action. Ramsey, of course, making the appearances in the Calabria Cup. Same with Marvellous Nakamba. Uh, and it's well spread out across the board. But the one thing we are lacking is those damn clean sheets. We've had two clean sheets in 18, was it 20 matches? How many games have we played? Two clean sheets in 20 matches, guys. I don't know how Leon Bailey's played two more games than anybody else. Um... I don't know necessarily how that's happened, but it has nonetheless. Maybe for a little substitute in cup fixtures. But we need to show up the back line, keep a clean sheet, and this is the time to do it. Paddy V's boys, Crystal Palace at home. Come on, lads. I'm mainly going to focus on pure defence in this game. we got our strongest 11 going into it. Ollie Watkins, we can score on the counter attack. Uh, Crystal Palace have actually strengthened. I have no clue who Mukalans is at left wing. But Pellegrini, I'm pretty certain he's the Roma boy. Thomas, I don't know either. Mateta's the lad they bought in on loan last season. And the back four and the goalkeeper are the usual boys. We're a tough game. Townsend's a tricky, tricky customer. Hopefully, just want a clean sheet. Is that too much to ask for? Like, re realistically, guys, just, just a clean sheet. Up against Crystal Let's Palace. Well, thank you, Derek. Oh, Glorious atmosphere here. Yeah, really looking minute, forward to seconds it. The in. A goal here would be the dream. players look like they're up for it. Danny Ings! He's got it! When you've got a player like this in your team, guys, scoring goals is not the issue. Nice little spread of the play from Oli. Just whip that. And players waiting at the far post. Oh, they really should have a two-goal oh, cushion. Douglas. Well, he can't My boy. believe it, Derek. I know you're not known for going forward. You just wonder if they're going to live to regret that. To be fair, it's a difficult effort. I'm used to Leo Bailey well, coming in on the end of that. And just absolutely in that bullying. Area. And the cross is very much on. And the referee says corner kick. <sighs> Not from the corner, please. Not. Just don't do it, Palace. Don't. And now the do delivery. It. Don't do it. And he's gone and scored to level it again. Derek's we seem to be cursed from corners. I don't know what Emmy Martinez is doing. What ball. are you doing, Emmy? It's a lovely finish. We've given him the goal. Clean sheet out the window. So a level contest. 
It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but play it. And a goal! Just like that, the Oh, Johnny boy. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny again. This is his episode. He's been well, a bit quiet in the previous the few. He's doing his bits. You. Cool. But the little ball roll down, onto his left. Keeper really was planted. Didn't move an inch. Well, John McGinn, take goal. a bow. Can he do it? Oh, it's, it's a great done. goal. Danny Ings Brilliant works it beautifully. Ross Barkley's two first two touches on the pitch and he's found the back of the net already. Teammate and support. Not finished oh, no. The, the game. game's not over yet, guys. Mateta gets another, is it? I don't know if he scored the first one, but it's 3-2. Well, He's really got well to see it out. There's a few minutes left to go. There is the no way that I'm surely drawing this one. If we go and take a look at our previous results, the 3-2 win against Palace, 5-2 against West Brom, a big 4-3 against the Saints, 3-2, 4-0, 6-2, and then an absolute shocking uh, October. We put October behind us. The last three, well, two months have been top tier from the lab. And as it stands, where do you think that puts us on the table? Obviously, we're in the top six, which is good to see. Arsenal are dropping off, but as we slowly go up the pitch, Man City has started winning games, Jack Grealish finding his four, Man United are in fourth. Where's, where's Villa, you ask? Spurs are third? Where's that second? 10 wins, 4 draws, 2 losses, 52 goals scored but 30 conceded. The goal difference isn't anything to write home about. Liverpool out of nowhere. They're threading wins together and they are currently sat in first place. And going into the next episode, of course, it's the way it was always going to be with playing against Liverpool. And I'm not going to lie, the games to follow don't get any easier. Burnley, Arsenal, Spurs and Chelsea before we hit the January transfer window. So we've got some big games coming up. But if you are enjoying this, make sure to get down there. Drop me a like on this video. If we could hit 10 likes, that would be fantastic. And until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you soon. Take it easy.